Hello YouTube, Patrick here. So we're back with the sawtooth again and uh, I have some upgrades for it. We're gonna install a uh, SATA to an ID to SATA adapter that I have, have purchased. It hopefully works better than the previous one. So we can get OS 9 installed on an SSD instead of the ID hard drive. This is the IDE to SATA adapter I purchased. And this is one of the SSDs we tried in a previous video with the other adapter that didn't work. So it's a rank force uh, adapter. Should have a Marvel controller on it, I think. This costs a little bit extra than the China ones, the, the, the usual eBay ones. I think I paid 24 euros, with shipping and everything. I think you can find them for like 20 on eBay. So, come with a manual. I already re read the PDF manual, but uh, yeah, it, ha it has uh, it has uh, master, slave, and cable select options. And right now, I think it's set to master. So it looks very much like the eBay ones in that regard, but. See if we can zoom in here. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this controller here is a Marvel controller. Usually, the, the one I had and the ones I've seen usually are a brand like Sato or something like that. So, Marvel is, Marvel is quite uh, quite well known, so I expect this to be a little bit better quality and functional wise be better and, uh, and I added uh, a pad here that's a rubber pad and I know why because the what you what happened with the Chinese ones that you put on the back of a hard drive is that they can actually short out against the hard drive here so that's a smart thing to do at least so yeah I hope hope this should work a lot better like I said, it's more expensive, but if the ship ones doesn't work, it's just a waste of money, so. And uh, we're gonna pair it with, with uh, this SSD here. So we're gonna pair it with this SSD. Should go like so, I think, if this fits. Yep. Yeah. So we could probably mount this where the hard drive is the ID drive now for uh, OS 9. So my plan is to install OS 9 on this to see if that works and then if that works I just uh, reformat it and uh, clone over, just pull over my previous install for the mechanical one. And, uh, so I don't have to redo everything. Also they actually included our uh, power adapter which is nice. For now, I will leave the old hard drive in and just uh, connect up the SSD with the adapter so we can try it out and if it works, we're gonna mount it permanently. Just gonna put it on in here for now, testing. That way we get no shorts. We are at the boot menu, so we can now boot the CD for OS 9 here. So we have booted into OS 9 on, from the CD, so let's see if we can find the drive and uh, initialize it and do an install. Drive setup, we have a drive here, initialize, custom setup, 61,000 megabytes, and that drive is 64 gigabytes, so that's probably the one. So we just do like that. Untitled, so that's so far so good. Let's 
called OS9 test since we're only doing a test install now. Testing anyway. Let's start. And let's see if we can install here now. The furthest I could get with the old SATA adapter from eBay in the ship one was uh, 10%. So the install is finished, which is uh, an improvement from last time. So all we have to do is restart and see if it boots. Well, looks like it's booted from the SSD. So yeah, it seems like this adapter is working with the Marvel controller, so that's, that's an improvement. So what's left to do now is to clone the old hard drive over to this SSD instead, and mount the SSD in system permanently. So I have uh, reformatted the SATA SSD, so about 60 GB. So the plan is now to copy the contents of the 80GB IDE hard drive over to SSD. It'll probably take some time to install a few things at this point. So we will get back to this once it's done. The, the files have been copied, so it's time to shut down and remove the old hard drive. Well, it seems like everything is working so far. And something I would like to show here is uh, 
some tuning and did to quake 2 and 3. I have this auto xc.cfk here, uh, which I uh, Uh, made a friend of mine made, usually makes these configuration configuration files to tweak Quake two and three. So I took one of his, I think it is, and uh, modified it to fit this machine and graphics card and hardware in general. So there's some Mac specific tuning in here. So it's like uh, the Quake two version is patched, which is an unofficial patch to enable. Uh, uh, multi-texturing I think it should be Mac specific yeah Mac multi-texturing down here we don't need a comfort file if it's necessary for that but a lot of these things here improve performance so lower sound quality uh, lights off things like that uh, and vertex array tends to a lot if I recall so I've been back and forth on this Quake 2. I think we had like 80 frames per second last time we ran Quake 2. So we got 78 now. It's hit. sometimes I get 80, sometimes I may get a bit over 80, but uh, plus minus two frames or so, usually. So let's see what the comic file does now. We can take out the uh, config.cfk here and just run quick three as this. Higher detail quality apparently on the textures here, so that should actually be technically slower. And also, a trill neuron, so I had actually worse quality sitting here before, but I think it should be quite a lot faster anyway. So 
now, as you can see, the quality is a bit uh, worse. But uh, considering it's a competitive game, it's not that important, I think. And uh, once you see the numbers, you understand why people are on the track. So we got 80.7, so that's almost 81 FPS there. Anyway, so this Mac has been well tweaked. As much as I can right now, I have tried a few different things, but this is as far as I've gotten. So yeah, all out SSD now, and uh, yeah. So thank you for watching.